are you today? I said, oh my gosh, I'm tired. What? You're tired? You not allowed to be tired. You don't have a kid. so that's why you guys are still getting uh, videos. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I thought I should come on here and talk to you guys about the struggle of student life and basically my struggle to kind of keep my head above water. So I think that I am really lucky to have some really cool people around me that help me out when I need help. So for that, thank you every single one who's given me a free ticket to something, who's helped me with food, who's just given me words of encouragement because the school life can be really tough um, when you're trying to put yourself through school and you know live on your own, stay clothed, teeth brushed, hair clean. I mean, things look good, and oh, you do activities, but no one knows, like, they just assume you paid or whatever, but I get favors and things like that, so for that, I'm very grateful. Thank you. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about a few calls that I got this week. Like, last week, I got two absolutely ridiculous parking tickets that if I get into, you know, when I talk about it, my chest... My chest fucking hurts because it's so ridiculous. And they're, they're, even the person who gave me the ticket was like, yeah, I see what you mean, go contest it. Why are you giving it to me if you see what you mean? Anyways, you know what? Let's not even go there. I got two parking tickets that came up to, I didn't even look at them, but I'm sure it's around 170 bucks for both. Um, I got a few calls from, you know, the bill collectors, which I don't usually get phone calls from them. Like, I know I'm wonderful to talk to, but I don't usually talk to bill collectors, you know, I'm usually on top of my stuff. Um, but all of this happened because I was waiting for my loans and bursaries to come in uh, from the government, and they were kind of very delayed at, at the beginning of the semester, and so now we're headed to the middle of the semester, and I'm kind of screwed. I didn't get that original money now there's like three sets of bills that have built up and unfortunately um, yeah so I have my MasterCard to pay I have my cell phone to pay which they added like some extra stuff on there I don't even remember why um, my MasterCard number one they told me that oh by the way we increase your interest rates anytime you miss a payment. I didn't know that. I would prioritize my that MasterCard over another one. But anyway, so my interest rate is increased, plus they give me late fees when I'm late. Then I have my cell phone, who they've just been messing with me, but now I finally got it settled. But I thought I was paying the discount price since I bought this phone. Um, like months ago and told them when I buy a phone switch it to the discount price they didn't so I've been paying the prices if I've been using the phone that they you know like when you get on a contract I got off the contract months ago but I was paying the fee for the contract because for some reason they didn't they decided not to switch me um, so that's building up as well I have a visa card as well that is you know overdrawn and not paid for the same reason like usually I would just go I pay my MasterCard my visa at the same time and, and so yeah not that um, and I have my um, rent my rent needs to be paid um, and that's a large sum of money every single month and it just builds up every month so if you pay one month then you know that could easily get up to $1,500 very easily um, and I have my hydro bill to pay. That's the heating system uh, here, Hydro Quebec. Love you guys. 
Um, I also, we, we, you know, we're Hydro Quebec raising, you know, raising every year or every couple of months, raising the price for, for Hydro. That's so wonderful. And um, I also have like the, the water taxes to pay. Um, luckily the water taxes are not too expensive, but still it's something else that needs to be paid. Um, now I have, and, and these are all of the things that I need to pay regularly, you know? Not to mention the things that show up, you know, spontaneously, like that huge sum that I need to pay to the OPTMQ that's coming up. Um, that's my uh, license to be a medical technologist legally. Um, I still have plans to work in the summer as a medical technologist, so I need my OPTMQ. That's why I need to keep paying for it. Um, I barely paid my um, student uh, tuition at school uh, because my loans came in late and basically what happened was they gave me late fees, which was an extra hundred bucks already on the tuition fees that I had to pay. That was unexpected and that was because I went to the bank to pay for it and it takes a few days to pay. Um, to go through and so by the time I went through they had added the late fees and then I had to go pay the late fees um, on top of what I already had to pay which was pretty expensive so you can see how it could get really overwhelming I mean I went to Walmart and bought myself a pair of boots and a scarf because my boots have giant holes in them um, and I've been wearing them with giant holes in them and freezing my toes off and now I'm having problems healing. I, I'm having problems with feeling in my toes. I'm just going to show you the boots. Um, here they are. These were my winter boots. Um, they don't zip anymore or anything like that. And I've been wearing those <coughs> for the past, I, I want to say six or seven years, but probably longer than that. So they've lasted me quite long, but... I should have changed them a while ago. They've been like that for a really long time and I just couldn't afford to buy it. And what made me decide to change it is because now two of my toes are almost permanently numb. Um, here is my winter jacket. Thank God I know how to sew because this is all open. That's my winter jacket here and it's all open. Both sleeves are like that. And so, yeah. Uh, something that's a really good stress reliever for me is going to the gym, working out. Everybody knows I love Presti's gym, and I haven't been to the gym. I can't afford it. I mean, people have offered to pay for me to go to the gym, but it's so nice of them. And I'm like, yeah, that, that'd be great, but I, I'm supposed to be an adult here. <laughs> like... I'm supposed to be an adult. I should be able to pay for a gym. Gym is a leisure. But for me, it's a little bit more than that. So now I'm working out at home. And it's not the same as lifting, but I'm just trying. So, you know, me running around, trying to get those good marks, really staying busy and making it worth it, that's what's important to me. Because a lot of people say, well, you know, you could just pass your classes, blah, 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 or you're an overachiever, and I'll be really pissed at myself when I get a B. Well, that's why, because why am I doing this? I'm not not working and going to school so I can get Bs. I can get Bs and work at the same time. I can get Cs and work at the same time. If I'm not working at the same time, then I should be getting As. All of my extra time should go towards getting A's, getting good marks, getting in good standing with the school, getting in good standing with the teachers. And so I think that that's why I put so much pressure on myself. But I just came on here, my main reason really was to let people know, like, not because I don't talk to you, it doesn't mean that I don't care about you, it's because I'm super stressed. I'm super weighed down. Um, I didn't mention food in my bills, right? I didn't mention a new winter jacket in my bills or how much it costs for me to get a new damn pair of boots or all of my pants that decided to rip exactly at the same time. So now I have no pants and it's the dead of winter.
winter in Quebec. So there are so many other things that pop up. You don't even want to know how much I pay for the OPTM cube. What if I wanted to get my CSMLS? I would have to pay for that as well. Um, and there's always like surprise bills that come out of nowhere where they're like, Hey you, um, remember that thing that you did 20 years ago? Yeah, uh, you forgot to pay us two dollars, now you owe us like 300 bucks. That happens to me all the freaking time. So, um, yeah. When you see me enjoying myself, I really am. I'm staying distracted, I'm staying, actually not distracted, I'm staying focused on my goal. And so, I think it's really... It's, I'm just trying to make a video to everybody who's like, oh, she's not talking to me anymore, she doesn't have time for me anymore, or people who put those stupid fucking posts on Facebook and on Instagram, uh, people make time for people they care about. I don't have time for anybody. I don't even have time for myself. That's why I get heart palpitation, I get anxiety attacks. I cry, I laugh hysterically, and I make stupid ass YouTube videos. That's why. So, it's that's like a really stupid and selfish and kind of, um, is it conceited? You know, when you think about yourself? Post, because I have people around me helping me, and they know that I'm grateful, and I don't even have the time to like sit with them and be like, yeah, I'm super happy, I'm super grateful, um, let's do something together. Um, I don't have time for that because they're like keeping my head above water so that I don't drown. Like that's it. So to all you people out there who's like, oh, so Zika's not coming to my this and so Zika's not coming to my that. Listen, I don't have time to eat sometimes. There are times where I will go a whole day and then by the time I'm done my entire day, I'll think back because now I'm all like shaky. Like I'll have like show joke. And I'm like, why am I so shaky? And I'll be like, what did I eat today? And I think, what did I eat today? Nothing. Because I didn't even think to stop and take, put food in my mouth. That's what happens to me. So I don't know if that happens to you. I don't know if you can relate as a student or as a hardworking career person, but I'm just trying to survive. All of you people who go on vacation every year and say you're broke, um, can buy new shoes and say you're broke, um, can afford to do basic activities. You can go to the gym and say you're broke. Even my gym, when I do go to the gym, my gym is not expensive like a regular gym. I always try to find the discount, the free thing, and I have people helping me, as I said. So, you know, you don't have to believe me and you don't need to know the details, but just know that I'm not doing it to hurt you. And just stop taking things so personally. Like, if I don't remember your birthday, it doesn't mean I don't care about you. Wow, what the fuck was that? <laughs> If I don't remember your birthday, it doesn't mean I don't care about you. If I forget your name, I forget my name, believe it or not. That's probably a problem if we think about it. But is it really important for me to remember your birthday? Is it really important for me to like everything that you put up? Is it, is it really important? I'm there when I can. Anytime I have a break off school, I do the rounds. I go visit all my friends. I try to have parties where I make everybody come to the party. Um, I'm really trying on the social front, and whoever truly knows me knows I'm not a social butterfly. Um, but I'm trying. So that pressure of, oh, they didn't come see me, or, um, you know, doing things that I'm usually invited to and just not inviting me, maybe, you know what, maybe I'm being selfish. Because if you're doing things and you keep inviting me and I come once in a while and then you just stop inviting me and you post your pictures or you put something, that's hurtful, number one, but maybe it's hurtful that I don't show up. But you just need to come and tell me, like, uh, like, 
Zika, you know, I keep inviting you and you're not coming, what's going on, are we cool, blah blah blah, we're cool, I'm telling you right now, we're cool, and I know half of you people are not even going to watch this video, but, like, the people who are supposed to watch it aren't watching it, but I'm only making this video because I've told you all this, I've told my friends, I've told my acquaintances, I'm a busy person, I really run around, and the only people who see me are my teachers and my classmates. That's it. Um, it's putting a strain on all of my relationships, but the people who stick by me um, know that it has nothing to do with that. And I just want to finish, you know? Like, a lot of people have their parents and have their cousins and have their... You know, they have, like, their boyfriends. Everybody's like, no, your boyfriend should be paying for everything for you. Why? 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 I'm a grown-ass person. No. He can help if he so chooses. And that's if I accept the help. But, no. Y'all need to try to be a bit more independent. Accept the help, but well, well, you shouldn't be working. I have that. You shouldn't be working so hard. Don't you have a man? So what? I have two hands and a brain. Like, that's... Anyways, this is just disgusting to me. Anyways. But, yeah. So, I think that's what I wanted to say. Sorry I got so serious, guys. <laughs> it's just that people don't get it. And I have, like, this drive and I want to succeed. are not understanding at all. Some are, but a lot of people are. And it's just sick. Because I know, you know the real reason why I made this video is because I just went to like an activity. And I'm sure there's going to be people who's going to see like I posted it on my Oh my god, she's always saying she's broke. How did she afford to go to that activity? And it's like, yo, suck my dick. Because you, you don't... Ah, you don't know how I got there. You don't know if I get pa free passes to things. You don't know if I won a contest. You don't know. Oh, she gets to do this and she gets to do that. That must be real expensive. Oh, she gets to go to Alberta. How did she afford to go to Alberta? Oh, she gets to eat this and she gets to eat that. That must be real expensive. Like, y'all don't know what's going on. You don't know what arrangements I've made. You don't know how I've taken what I have and use it to the most optimal thing. Oh, she has a car. She must not be that broke. I can't afford a car. Do you know who's paying for my car or how it's being paid for? Do you know how I got it? Do you know any of that? Did you take the time to talk to me about it? So, instead of making a, I'm sure some people are going to be like, well, instead of making a video, you should go talk to your friends and your acquaintances. I have. And that's why I'm making the video, because I've been going to school for years. This is not new. I've told them. I am sorry. I have an exam. I have a this. I am studying really hard. I don't have the money. You know, let's go to a restaurant. I don't have money for a restaurant. Let's go to the movies. Can we go on Tuesdays? Because I don't have money. Otherwise, a movie's like 10 bucks. On Tuesdays, it's 5 And sometimes I don't have $5, like right now. So... People, let's go to Larone. Which part? Which part of Larone? Am I gonna go to Larone and stand up outside because Larone is seventy dollars to get in? That's Six Flags, by the way, for for American people who are watching Six Flags. Seventy dollars to get into that damn place to vomit all over the place. Sixty dollars. So, yeah, let's do an activity, okay? You want to come over and sit down? No, let's do something fun. I find sitting down in my house very fun. So it's a it's a riot. Anywho, now I think that's all I had to say. <laughs> um, anyways, 
Can you guys relate to this? Can you? If you can relate, please let me know what people don't understand about your life in the comments. It doesn't have to be school, but it could be work, it could be having a child, it can be... I even had someone, I said, they're like, oh, how... What? You're tired? You not allowed to be tired? You don't have a kid? Who the frick told you to have a kid if you can't handle it? And then you're you're imposing your tiredness on me? Like, I'm not allowed to be tired because I don't have children? My body doesn't work the same way? I'm not a human being who runs out of energy at the end of the day and needs proper rest? And for some reason, I don't sleep because I have insomnia or night terrors or sleep apnea or asthma attacks? Do you know that about me? But I can't be tired because I didn't push a child out of my loins? Anyways, if you can relate, God, I could go on about this for hours, but if you can relate to what I'm talking about, please leave it in the comment box below. I really love reading your comments. It, like, really, like, I can relate to a lot of what you guys are saying. And make sure you guys liked this video and watch the next few sub um, suggested videos that are going to pop up right here. All right? All right. And just click my face to subscribe. Click that face right there. Click it. Click it. Did you click it? Are you subscribed yet? All right. Well, you have yourself a fine and dandy day. And don't let people discourage you and pull you down. That's all I got to say. Nothing but a queef. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up.